the race for the White House. Two new candidates jumping in, with former Texas Governor Rick Perry releasing a new video overnight ahead of today's formal announcement, and a new challenge for Hillary Clinton, too, as her poll numbers take a dip. ABC's John Carl tracking all the new moves. And, John, this is a bit of a comeback bid for Perry. Yeah, he sure hopes it's a comeback. Perry ran, of course, four years ago when he got into the race then. He was ever so briefly the front runner, but that campaign was a bit of a disaster, especially those debates. Now Perry comes in even with a record as governor of Texas for 14 years. Good record on jobs. There you see his announcement video, which came out overnight. Perry gets into this as a real long shot. And, George, we now have... 10 declared Republican presidential candidates, and believe me, several more to come. Not only that, and now four Democratic candidates. Lincoln Chafee, former governor of Rhode Island, saying he wants to challenge Hillary Clinton. That's right, Lincoln Chafee, former governor, former senator, former liberal Republican. He jumps into this with those three challengers to Hillary. Uh, none of them really, you know, have seem to have much of a shot. All are real, real long shots. But look at Hillary's poll numbers, George. She now has a favorability rating uh, of just 45%. 49% disapprove of Hillary Clinton right now. And the biggest problem for her, George, is that a strong majority now say they don't consider her honest or trustworthy. That's the kind of poll numbers that looks like somebody who would be real vulnerable. But again, none of these candidates that are challenging her seem to be very formidable at this point. Not yet. Okay, John Carl, thanks very much. We also learned this morning that Jeb Bush formally getting to the race on June 15th.